Okay, right, we've got, um, I think I've got everything in the right place, so I'm just going to turn the camera around. Hi, try not to take any notice of the mess at the back. Um, right, it's Tuesday. I have no idea what the date is. I've sort of lost track a bit of uh, of this month. I think it's about the 16th, possibly. January, already halfway through. Brilliant. Um, I've got a demonstration of a never-ending card to do today. It's um, it's quite it's a nice little card. It looks quite complicated, but it's actually easier than uh, than it looks, to be honest. So we'll be doing one of those. I haven't looked at the demonstrator updates, so I don't know what's going on. There might be some changes. Um, just going to say I've I'm on at eleven this morning because of having to still take my daughter to and from school. So half past two's gone out the window at the moment as I have to leave to go and get her. I'm hoping we might find a solution and a bus company might decide they're going to take it on. But for the moment, um, Tuesdays are going to be a bit sort of all over the place. I'm hoping once the once the nights get lighter. Then I might do it in the evening just to just um, because it's easier, you know, the light's nicer then. OK, anyway, um, other than not knowing what's going on in the demonstrator world, um, we have still got celebration running for another about six weeks until the end of February. There's some really gorgeous papers um, and there's stamp sets, dies, ribbons, some gems and um, there's one that's got a embossing folder with it I believe. Okay um, so yeah so there's plenty of time to still get those and the card I'm going to do this morning, the never ending card, I am actually using the Flight and Airy um, bird paper because I I really do like it. I think it's really nice. And yet it's something, it's flowery and it's birds. So it's really not me at all. Okay. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll um, get on with the actual card making. Okay. Bear with me. Right. Hopefully it's not going to fall out. I've got, ooh, I've got one of the... One of the arms that's holding the camera, um, sort of a bit at an angle to, um, so it doesn't block the actual camera when it's on me, but hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, so this is a never-ending card. If you've not seen one before, they have been around for quite a while and they... They're great fun. You can do them with, you know, all sorts of pattern paper. You can put as many messages on there as you like. Um, I've done this with the Busy Bees. So it's a great little Valentine's card. Okay, so this is the basic structure of your card so it's four pieces of cardstock and they just keep folding so this is so this is for the card base um i have only done it in written it down in inches i'm afraid but i will obviously on my blog have it in um centimeters as well so you have two pieces of cardstock measuring two and three quarter inches no sorry that's four inches by two and three quarters so you've got two of those 
and then you have two at five and a half inches by two. Okay, I just wanted to check that my, yeah, that's all right, my laptop is on silent. The um, four inch by two and three quarters, you score at one inch and at three inches. Okay, I'm just going to give them a bit of a bend. So if you bend them both ways, um, I should really get my bone folder out, but it doesn't matter for this. <clears throat> okay, you bend them both ways, it will give you plenty of flexibility. And then the five and a half inch pieces, you score at one and three eighths of an inch and four and one eighths of an inch. And again, you just need to bend those backwards and forwards so that they work um, you know, as you're flipping the card around. So for a moment, I'm just going to put these two over to one side. And uh, I've just noticed, oh, I don't know, my screen's just come up saying there's a slow connection so I'm hoping that it's okay um it should be all right but anyway right we'll see so with these two pieces we're gonna I'm using tear and tape you can use other glue but I find this you know, really simple to use and you're gonna just put some on I'll get rid of that bit. That bit's already started coming off. I'm going to put some on this corner and this corner. And then some on that one and that one. So I'll just quickly do that. So we've got lovely blue sky here now. It was very cold though. We've got the fire going in the sitting room, but the uh, in my little craft room, it's it's a bit chillier. I haven't put the heating on in here yet today. So we were um, there was a possibility we were going to have some snow tomorrow, but I think that's gone now down in the south. Much to my daughter's disgust, she was really looking forward to snow. Okay, so now we've put this on, we can just take the corners off. If you do one, one of each on the same side, you just need to line them up. Okay. And then we're going to pop this one corner to corner and try and do it without needing to look over the top. Okay, so it's like this. So you've just literally laid it down on top. And stuck it on those bits and then we can do the same Ooh, same on the other side okay. and that is your basic card base for this everlasting card okay just pop those bits out of the way right so now for the fun bit the decorating 
as you can see you've got quite a lot of little panels so there's a number of um, sections so this first section here I've chosen the flight and airy DSP and I'm going to use two pieces that are one and three quarter inch by two and a half. I'm going to stick those on first. Just like that, and then I think I've used the wrong bits because they definitely don't go there. Ah, I know what I've done. It's all right though because it was the same paper. Um, so then for these bits here, you want four, which are one and three quarter inches by one and one eighth. And then these are just going to go into these gaps here. On my um, on my B one, on this one, instead of using all of these, I've put the sentiment there, which you can do. Um, I might actually. might actually just leave one off and do the stamping of that and do that the same okay so while it looks really complicated once you've got everything cut it really is quite quite easy and straightforward so I'll leave that bit off and I'll come back to that and do a greeting up there I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet okay so that's section one so then section two again you've got two big pieces Let's just show you on here so you've got two big pieces we don't stick anything on there because that's from another section, but you, you want to stick something on these corners. So that is where I've then got, again, it's this, the same paper. I haven't really, oh, or was it? Hang on a minute, because I think it was this section. Yeah, this is the section I've got next. So I've chosen some more of the flowery paper and then just for these corners, just to give it a bit of definition, I'm just using the back of, which is um, quite pretty in itself. But you can always stick some little um, gems or Um, stamp some little flowers or whatever you want really onto those just to add a bit more a bit more to it okay so these ones are um, these ones are really quite tiny, three, three quarters of an inch wide by one and an eighth of an inch. Um, long, but it's, it's better than leaving it blank like that, I think. Right. 
my last one of these. Okay, so that's the DSP of section two. Obviously on here you could stick, you know, you could cut out a bird or something. But we're going to save that for another section. Okay, so section three looks like this. And now this is where these ones and again some tiny little ones up here. down the bottom so these are again one and three quarter inches by two and a half for two of those Just leaving sort of about an eighth of an inch border all the way round. Same as when um, we layer mats. Okay. So, um, has anyone ever made a um, never ending card before? made one years ago I haven't made one for ages so this was I thought it would be uh, something different to demonstrate and to put on the blog um, something a bit more unusual okay so that is section section was that section three so section four is the final section of so that was section three section four final section so I've got a blank white piece which is one and three quarter inches by two and a half I'm going to leave that off a moment now I've got this one here which has got the bigger bird on again it's one and three quarter inch by two and a half and I'm going to pop that one on there and then I've got four pieces that are three quarters of an inch by two and a half and they're for these sections Just pop those on. I do like using Tombow for my card making, but um, the stamping seal works just as well. The only problem with that is if you do once you've stuck it down, you've stuck it down. You can't um, get any wriggle room like you can with the Tombow. Okay, so that's that bit. Now, I'm going to need, decided to use a white piece up here on the front. And then I've got this white piece here for stamping as well. Just um, just cut one of those. So it's going to be one and three quarter inches by one and one eighth of an inch. So it's not a very big piece, but you should be able to get some sentiment on there. Um, Let's put that out of the way. 
Um, so I'm going to use, I don't know what am I going to use. Let's have a look and see what I've got that's not too big. I don't want the bumblebees because I've used that one. Bear with me. I've moved my stamps. And I'm trying to find them. Um, those ones are a bit too big. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to find. I don't know where I've put one of my one of my stamp sets somewhere, and I can't find it. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and see whether I can use um, some out of here. So I'm going to make this for, it's my mother-in-law's birthday coming up, so whether she, she like, whether she ends up with this card or not, I don't know, but we'll, we'll make it, um, we'll make it and see. Okay, so I'm just going to. Pop my little stamping mat down. This is Boho Blue Ink. And I've just just stamped in the middle of that really for this one. So I think what I'm also going to do is I, I want to use something that's um, just to give it a bit, make it a bit less white. Um, so I think it's going to have to be a blender brush. This one's got pink on it, so I'm going to use some of the bubble bath. Let's just pop that out the way for a minute. And that one. Just going to give it a little bit of a, a pinky. don't want it too dark it's just really just just subtle around the edges that looks better it doesn't it's not quite as not quite as white and stark against the against the blue right let's pop that out the way so that one's going to go up there. You can add a bit of bling to it as well. Um, I've got all sorts of bling. What sort of bling shall I use? Might use some of these. And my... Take your pick tool seems to have gone for... Uh, my daughter uses some of my stuff and things don't get put back in exactly the same place, but never mind. Okay, so these are just uh, self-adhesive little sequins, just to add a bit of... a bit of um, sparkle on there. I'm going to use one of the little ones. Okay, so two, three, back to this bit here. Uh, 
and this one's it has got happy birthday and you could what we could do is stamp the happy first and then stamp the birthday underneath i think because it's um it's too long to actually fit on the piece of it's too long to fit on there so I'm just going to find a bit of masking paper or a bit of washi tape. I've got some washi tape here. This is an old washi tape, look, but it's ever so useful for doing these sort of masking. I'm just going to pop that down in there. All right, just before stamping, just remember to take the washi tape or whatever you use off. So there's the happy. And then another piece of washi tape. I'm going to cover up the happy this time. And I'm going to use this bubble bath, so it'll be mo boho blue and bubble bath pink again. Remember to take your washi tape off. I have stamped without taking that off before, and uh, yeah. Okay, so then you can stamp one under the other and in different colours. That's a different way of using your stamps to get a different effect let's get rid of those so we don't get ink anywhere else with me right pop that out of the way and so that i make sure it's up the right way i'm just going to go all the way through because you don't want it facing upside down Some glue. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to stick something there now because I've just put some, add obviously some ink on my hand. Um, so let's bring these back in. This is always a good way of uh, covering up a little smudge by just by. Popping a, pop a couple of um, gems or stamping something over it. Okay, but that then covers up that smudge and you can't see it. Okay, so that's that one. I was going to just pop on here I'm going to do a bit of fussy cutting or yeah fussy cutting I think let me just find I want one of the big bigger birds so these are these are really quite sweet and they're all in different shades so I'm going to go with that looks no don't know. I think I'm going to go with one of these orange ones and I, I think I might just use this one because it's going to be quick and easy to um, cut out. I'm going to use the big scissors first of all, bear with me. Okay, so when I fussy cut, I literally just cut bit out that I want rather than having to try and tackle the whole sheet and then just leaving a very small edge of white round 
the outside. If you hold your scissors at a 45 degree angle and move the paper rather than the actual scissors, it's um, it's a bit easier. Okay, so there's a bird. I don't know whether I'm going to stick it on there or not at the moment. I think I don't know. I don't know whether I actually like that stuck on there. Um, what do you think? Should I stick it on there or not? It's a bit. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to think about that and um, maybe find what I want to actually put on there. I don't know. I'll, I'll find sink and I'll put it on before I take a photo and put it on the blog. But anyway, this is the never ending card using flight and airy. Beautiful DSP from the celebration set. And another one using the lovely bees from the bee mine, ready for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I hope you uh, have a go at making that. It really is so much easier than it looks. And um, all the measurements in metric and imperial will be on my blog. A bit later today okay well that's it for now take care and uh, i'll see you again soon bye